Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, The Piper. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. A father nicknamed The Piper, travels by foot from Seoul with his son Sick Boy, to run away from the war that is happening in Seoul. They are walking to reach a remote area. When they reach the remote area, the village chief allows them to stay at his house. The chief also offers some food for the father and son to eat. The following moment, the piper shows the chief an English written note, suggesting an American doctor at a hospital in Seoul that can treat his son, sick boy. Unfortunately, the chief says that he cannot read English either. Afterward, the village chief tells the piper not to tell everyone in the remote village that the war is already over. Meanwhile, a pretty girl is cooking some eggs, and when she cracks the following egg, she opens up the black rotten yolk. Upon seeing the rotten egg, the villagers react, and the sight causes an instant panic to the small town. Later, the village chief appoints the girl to be the official shaman of their town, so we call the girl shaman for convenience. However, shaman is still doubtful if she is going to accept the responsibilities of being a shaman. The following moment, while the piper is staying at the balcony, he sees that the village is being infested by rats. So the piper suggests to the chief that he should get rid of the pest problem. Surprisingly, the chief agrees with the piper's suggestions, and he says that if the piper is able to get rid of all the rats, he will pay the price of a cow. Tempted by the value, the piper closes the deal with the village chief, and later he excitingly starts with his tasks. The piper starts doing some observations about the rats in the village, and right after that, he quickly begins to do the pesticides that can kill all the rats. At the same time, Shaman, who was forced by the chief to become the new village shaman, begins her purification ritual with bells. Shortly after, rats start pouring out of the buildings, following the piper's powder to a cave. The piper also explains to the villagers what the powder is, and how it works for rats and humans. After that day, the piper successfully accomplishes the rat purging task. Following that exhausting day, the people in the village also celebrate the success of getting rid of the pest problem in their small village. So the piper and his son perform. The piper plays his pipe, while his son plays violin. They are able to entertain the people in the village. While they are happily eating, the piper goes to his table with his son, and he gets a drink aggressively from their table. As a result, the people around them become shocked by his attitude. The chief's son is not comfortable around the piper, seeing that the piper likes shaman. The chief's son seems to have hormone feelings towards shaman, so now he is jealous of his hormone rival. The following night, the chief's son gets suspicious about the piper, so he tells his father that he believes the piper is a communist spy. So the village chief tells the villagers about the piper being a communist spy, and the people quickly spread the gossip. Later that day, the village chief gives the money that he promised to the piper, but with one condition. The chief says that the piper needs to go to a specific tree. The piper obeys him, and he goes to the tree that the chief describes. When he reaches the tree, he sees a rotten dead cat. Right after that, the village chief says that the rats are back, and everyone says that the piper lied, and insists that he is a communist spy. When the piper gets the chance to collect the money that the villager chief promised, the situation gets heated. A villager gruesomely stabs his hand, and hits his finger. The following moment, the piper gets beaten up by the villager chief's son. Meanwhile, Shaman sees everything that is happening to the piper, and she is very observant while she watches how the piper is being beaten up by the chief's son. Later on, the people around the village go to see Shaman, and they ask if she believes the piper lied to them. She replies that the piper is really lying, and she confirms to them that the piper is a communist spy. What's worse, the man that the piper became close with, also lies and admits that the piper is a communist spy. Shortly after the piper gets beaten up, he pleads to the village chief to spare his life. In response, the chief gets up, and brings piper's son to a well. The people around them think that he will throw his son into the well, but instead he just drinks water. Later, the village chief goes back to the piper, and tells him that he will let them go. Shaman reappears from nowhere, and she is seen wearing ancient clothes. Surprisingly, Shaman appears to have a stab in the stomach. She informs the villagers that if there is no sun on a given day, they will all die. She adds that their offspring may survive or die. The scene shows Shaman echoing a previous Shaman's prophecy before the previous Shaman was imprisoned, and eventually burned alive by the raging villagers. Right after her prophecy, Shaman succumbs to her injuries, and dies with an excruciating pain. Several days pass, and the village chief is observing the sun and the moon. He is worried about the words that the shaman said. And the prophecy keeps on repeating in his mind. The piper and his son are about to leave the small village. 
When they are packing their supplies, the chief slips in two poisoned rice balls inside the piper's backpack. The chief keeps the pipe with him, and proceeds on saying goodbye to the piper and his son. The piper and his son move out of the village with an injured hand, and his son is crying. After a long walk, they eventually get exhausted, and when they see a tree beside them, they decide that they should take a rest first. The piper tells his son that he is sorry for not listening to him, and he promises that he will get his son treated. After that, the piper promises that he will let his son go to school, and he will buy him a pencil. After he talks to his son, he falls asleep. Sick boy is still worried about his father, because his father's fingers are severely injured. In the hope of him curing his father's injured fingers, sick boy searches for medicine in the bag that his father carries. Unfortunately, he finds nothing but the two rice balls, and he has no idea that it is poison. Sick boy tries to smell if the rice ball is bad, and he does not suspect anything. So he brings it along on their travels. The following moment, sick boy goes back to the village to see what else he can get. Then, Sick Boy sneaks back to the hamlet to grab his father's pipe from the chief's residence. At the same time, the piper wakes up, and lurks around the place to look for his son, and he fails to find his son. So he walks up around the forest that they are resting from. While Sick Boy is walking back to his dad, he gets a rice ball and eats it. As a result, Sick Boy dies after eating a poisoned rice ball. Shortly after, the piper sees the sight of his lifeless son. The piper can't believe that his son is gone, and the first thing that comes to his mind is revenge. The Piper vows vengeance for the loss of his helpless sick son. The Piper comes up with an elaborate plan of revenge, and he starts to smoke the village with his special powder to lure the rats. The smoke goes to the whole village, so when the rats smell them, rats are gonna eat the villager's flesh. The Piper burns his son's remains on a funeral pyre, then, he wraps himself in the special powder he used earlier to lure the rats. Right after that, he proceeds to reopen the cave, while he is saying goodbye to his son, the piper talks to him as he puts him in his final grave. He says he is sorry for what happened to him, and promises that he will bring justice to him. The piper proceeds on calling the rats that he trapped inside the cave. He baits the rats with his two severed fingers, and begins playing his pipe. Then he leads the rats back to the hamlet, where they consume all of the adults, including the chief and his son. The chief's son wakes up to the noise of the rats, and he keeps calling his father until he gets out of his room. He is surprised by the sight of daunting rats. After that, the chief's son goes to the cages of cats, and he hides in terror. The chief's son tries to make the cats eat the rat, because he thinks that cats should eat those rats. Unfortunately, the cats just scratch him, and that ends up opening the cage, and then the rats swarm up to eat him. Right after that, the village chief wakes up, and finds out that the rats are back. He quickly proceeds to find his son. The chief keeps calling his son, until he looks up to the sky and realizes that there is no moon. He remembers what the old lady and the shaman say that revenge will come if there is no sun and moon. Later, the village chief finds his son dead in the cat's cage, and he comes back to their house. The chief prepares a sword, so that he can defend himself from the rats that are swarming up to eat him, and he gets confused about how rats can eat humans. A lot of rats are swarming up to the village chief, and to his surprise, the piper shows up with his scary clown white look, with gruesome blood on his face. The piper talks to the village chief, and he sarcastically asks us if the village chief is happy to see him again. The piper also adds that he came back to return the favor from them. The village chief explains that they didn't pay the piper, because he didn't make the rats go away from their village. The village chief is surprised about the piper controlling the swarm of rats, and he wonders if he is a human. The village chief wonders how the piper does not have a conscience, to do his vengeance to the village and to the people. The village chief is so scared, and he desperately finds his way of escaping the wrath of the vengeful father. The piper asks the village chief what he is doing, and he commands the chief to come back to him. Of course the village chief doesn't listen to him, and he finds a tree with a swing. He then goes to the tree, hoping that rats would not jump at him. Surprisingly, the rats are smart, and the piper starts to play his pipe to attract the rats to the swing. Eventually, the rats go to the swing's rope, and the village chief tries to get rid of the rats by swaying his body. Unfortunately, the rats are strong, and don't come off the swing easily. The following moment, the village chief sees a rat eating the swing's rope, he watches it until the rope gets cut in half. The village chief falls to the ground, and dies a horrible death. Right after that, the rats swarm up to him and eat his fresh flesh. The following morning comes, and this morning arrives without a sun. Only the children's of the villagers remain alive, and all of them gather in one place. 
The kids ask their fellow kids what is happening. They begin to shout their parents' name, and they desperately scream for help from anyone. But sadly there is nobody responding to them. The kids continue shouting, until they hear the piper play his pipe. The children are hoping that their parents are just watching him, so they follow the sound. Eventually, they see the piper walking away, so they follow the piper towards his destination. The children begin to ask the piper where their parents are. But the piper ignores them, and he keeps on playing his pipe. Suddenly, a child with his brother on his back realizes that they shouldn't trust the pipers. The child begins to get suspicious of what the piper is doing. They see that the look of the piper in the morning is very eerie. The piper is wearing a red nose, so that the kids would see him as a clown. Soon after, the piper guides them to the cave where he kept the rats before. When they arrive inside the cave, the piper proceeds to trap the kids inside it. The child from earlier doubts himself if he should go inside. But he still proceeds to go inside the cave with his other friends and his brother. Shortly after, the piper sees that everyone is now inside the cave, and he shuts the opening of the cave with a big rock, mimicking how he trapped the rats inside the cave. Then, the piper walks away like a man without a soul, leaving the children to their death. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.